Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to run a third party application to find duplicated files on your computer. So if you're anything like me, um, you don't want to have too many unnecessary or unused duplicate files on your computer, especially if you already have an original file already there. So for example, if you had a lot of images, you might have duplicated over one after another. You might get that a lot. So CCleaner does not actually remove duplicate files. It just cleans system files. So just keep that in mind here. Um, so it's definitely a little bit different than the functionality of CCleaner. So I'm going to actually open up the website right here. So this tool, which is called Duplicate Cleaner, it used to be, I believe it was only a free version and now they're really pushing the professional version. However, they still offer their free version of the software. So if you navigate over to this web page and then you left click on the download tab right near the top, you see that the second option for the download is for non-commercial use only and it says Duplicate Cleaner free. So you can left click on this download button right here. So it is a CNET download, so just keep that in mind. And it actually seems to be pretty popular. It's already had over 2.2 million downloads, 2,306 in the last week. And it's ranked number five in file management, so that's definitely a good sign. So it's a pretty popular tool. So we're gonna start by just golf clicking on the download now button right at the top. So the installation process will be very similar to most CNET or download.com products. And it's only about five and a half megabytes as of the time of me making this recording. So it's pretty light. So once it's finished downloading, we're just gonna open it up. And if we get a user account control window, you wanna select yes. So it'll ask you what language you wanna install it in, select the correct language. It looks like they actually support Dutch, Spanish, French, Italian. I guess this won't be the language of the Netherlands. Uh, please forgive me if I'm mistaking. It also looks like the Brazilian dialect of Portuguese. So definitely an interesting mix there, I'd have to say. So we're going to just set it in English. And welcome to the Duplicate Cleaner free setup wizard. Going to select next here. Have to agree to the licensing terms. So click on I agree. At this point, you can set up where you want it to install on your computer. I usually keep it in the default file location, so I'm fine with this, and it will create a desktop shortcut. And you will require 8.6 megabytes of space on your hard drive. It's usually pretty attainable for most people, so we're going to just proceed by clicking on Next here. We're going to finish up the installation by clicking on Install, and pretty quick to install. So I'm not going to launch the welcome page, so I'm going to uncheck that, but I will keep the Run Duplicate Cleaner free checked, the first option, and then I will left click on finish here. Okay, so we're going to select English here. Before you do anything, you have to set what your search criteria is going to be. So you probably want to keep most of these settings default. So we see that it says find files with same content. Um, I would recommend keeping that. You could also set to detect files of similar file name or file names. Um, that's not checked by default, so I wouldn't recommend checking unless you want to just see what it comes up with. Um, you also have more search options down here. We also can exclude zero size files from duplicate list. Um, this is important right here. Do not scan system files or folders. Um, I applaud them for doing this and I think they would have a lot of broken machines if they did not have this checked. Also don't follow the NTFS mount points and junctions so I recommend keeping that the same. And then you could also search by the date in which it was created or modified which is pretty good so if you're looking on a hunt for something that maybe you're working on a project and you have a lot of files that are duplicates you could just search between a date parameter and we can also see we can set up file filters to either include or exclude certain files so that's kind of cool scan locations we can select certain areas on our computer please keep in mind that if we select our entire C drive it might take a very long time to scan and any duplicate files that are scanned will show up in this tab 
and any duplicate folders that are found will show up in this tab as well. However, we can see the duplicate folders feature is only available in the professional version. Personally, I really have not had a need to use the duplicate folders um, feature, so it hasn't really affected me. As long as we have the duplicate files feature, that's the most important thing in my opinion. So I'm going to select a scan location. Please keep in mind I might not actually get any duplicates here, but let's just say that I scan the entire documents folder. And then you want to left click on this little arrow to add the path to the search paths. So we just dragged it over. And it's also set to scan for subfolders. And at this point you would just left click on this little button up here that says scan now. So just left click on that. So it says scan complete, no files were found, which is good, it did not take us very long. Please keep in mind if you have an older computer you'll probably have a lot of other stuff also that will show up. So if you did have a lot of files that were duplicated, there would be an option to remove the files and there's also a file remover button up here in which you can delete any duplicate files you have. Please keep in mind that I believe images you can preview before you delete and I'm not sure if you can preview mp3 files. I think that's also another big feature of this tool. So just keep that in mind. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this brief tutorial and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.